worried because he has this wheezing sound in, when he's coughing. Uh, and, uh... This is Malta. He's been ill for some time. Linda, his mother, thought it was nothing more than a bad cough. But when the cough persisted, she became worried. First I thought it was uh, maybe a normal uh, kind of flu. But then I was uh, concerned because his uh, symptoms got much, much worse. And uh, he got this wheezing sound in his cough and also uh, blush in the face. And then um, I, I was a little bit worried, so we, we decided to see the doctor. Yes, a lot if you of think Malta so is an isolated yeah, case, yeah. think again. Despite current vaccines, whooping cough affects almost 50 million people a year around the globe and your child could be next. In the fight against whooping cough, European scientists have joined forces. The project's called Child Innovac. Dr. Camille Locht is the head of the team. So the Innovac Consortium uh, will try to put forward, uh, all the way through clinical trials, a totally new concept of vaccination against whooping cough. The new vaccine really aims at protecting the youngest and most vulnerable population, that is the young children of our countries. Whooping cough is caused by the bacterium Bordetella pertussis. The bacteria are transmitted by droplets when infected people cough and sneeze. Inhaling these droplets causes further infection, which if not treated quickly, can lead to death. Since the 1940s, the main treatment against whooping cough has been with vaccination. The first generation of vaccinations were crude and led to serious side effects. The second generation used today is an improvement, but is still far from perfect. The major disadvantage of the second generation vaccine, like for the first generation vaccines, is that they require at least three immunizations to be optimally protective. And uh, the immunizations in Europe start usually at two months of age. They go from two, three to four months of age, which means that children below the age of five, six months are not optimally protected. Child Innovac aims to tackle whooping cough in a number of innovative ways. First of all, it's developing a new vaccine which can protect babies under the age of six months, as currently none exist. To make the vaccine has meant getting to grips with the root of the disease, the whooping cough pathogen. Scientists have discovered the pathogen makes several different toxins. The pertussis toxin, which causes infection and suppresses the immune system. The dermonectrotic toxin, which can kill cells. The tracheal cytotoxin, which attacks mucus cells. By genetically modifying these toxins, scientists have created a new live bacterium. And that's the basis of the new vaccine. It's here at InnoGenetics in Belgium, where the live bacterium is produced. The cultures are carefully grown and counted before eventually being used to make the new vaccine. And it's how this new vaccine will be administered that's the second innovative approach regarding the child Innovac research. In contrast to the first and second generation of vaccines, the new vaccine will be a nasal vaccine. The idea is to mimic as much as we can natural infection because we knew from clinical studies that we did that natural infection induces the best immunity in small children. The nasal spray is not only much cheaper, hopefully it will mean the end of painful injections too. Developing a new vaccine takes many years, and obviously the question everyone wants to know is, will it work? In Ireland, Dr. Bernard Mann and his team have been investigating the vaccine to see how effective it is. We test the vaccine by taking eight to 12 week old young mice, and then we infect those mice with the whooping cough bacteria. Then we look to see how strong the immune response is in those mice. And finally, we look at the architecture, the fine structure of the lungs to see that the vaccine is safe. Let me show you what I mean. Here we see a section 
from a healthy airway. This mouse has not seen the virulent whooping cough bacterium. And the airways themselves are very clear and clean looking. So that's a very nice lung that we would expect to see in a healthy individual. But it's a very different story with the lungs of an infected mouse. What we see is a lot of destruction of that fine architecture that gets uh, destroyed. And then there's also a lot of damage to the lining of the lungs and inflammation as cells come in to try and kill the bacteria that are, that are infecting. But now if we look at the airways from a mouse that's been immunized with the new vaccine, the fine architecture of the airways is protected and preserved and um, the airways are clean and open and with no damage. So that's a really good sign to us that this is a safe vaccine for the for the children. The exciting results from Ireland mean child Innovac can begin to plan the first human tests. Professor Rigmore Torstensorn will be keeping a watchful eye during the trials. To make sure that this vaccine is not causing any side effects, uh, we will start to vaccinate uh, healthy males and uh, they will be vaccinated in three different groups, starting with a low dose, followed after some weeks of a middle dose, and then after another couple of weeks, we will uh, use the highest dose of vaccine. After vaccination, each man will give blood and saliva samples, so doctors will be able to see how the new whooping cough vaccine compares to those currently in use. It will take uh, at least up to 10 years until we have the final vaccine approved by the European uh, medical agencies. It's a long way to go. Nevertheless, the results to date look very promising. I'm very happy about the results. Uh, the results in the animal models are excellent. And so uh, I feel this is an award of uh, 25 years of basic research on the whooping cough agent, and we're very excited about trying it for the first time in man very soon. This project is very important, both uh, scientifically, but also that you feel that you can uh, actually help and contribute to uh, the health of small children. And that's Im very important for me. Thanks to the dedicated work of the European scientists of Child Innovac, it's hoped whooping cough will soon be silenced once and for all. <laughs>